Hello. My name is Debian Dupal, and I welcome you to our channel Civil Engineering Notes. Subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button below and visit our blog to stay updated. To download this presentation in Tation in PPT format, visit our blog now. You can also help others by submitting your project and presentation to us. Link is in the description. Let's start today's presentation on rehabilitation of structure. Introduction. Rehabilitation is the process of improving an existing structure for new conditions of use. It aims at restoring the structure to its original service level it once had and has now lost. In some cases this consists of giving the structure the service level which was intended, but could not be attained because of deficiencies in the original design and or construction. Necessity. Here are the main reasons why we need rehabilitation of structure. Fixed, to improve surface appearance. Second, to improve durability. Third, to change in live load pattern during service. Fourth, need for enhancing load capacity. Fifth, after failure of a structure. There may be other reasons for rehabilitation of structure as per requirement. In the figure below, we can see the difference in appearance of the structure, before and after rehabilitation. Causes of failure of structure. A structure may fail due to many reasons. Some of them are. First, external causes like accident, earthquake, floods, fire, foundation settlement etc. During the terrorist attack in 2001, the World Trade Center in New York City was crushed. Their rehabilitation may be needed to make it workable again. Again a massive destruction occurs during the Paul earthquake in 2015, it may need rehabilitation. Second, aging, weathering, deteriorating of structure. Third, underestimating loads. Fourth, lack of maintenance. Fifth, wrong design, detailing and construction. Sixth, wrong connections in steel structure. Seventh, overlooking the third dimension. A failure may occurs due to one or more factors. Sometimes, we do not take care of the other factors. Thus a structure may fail. Last, but not the least, before constructing any major project, owner should consult to engineer for structural analysis and safety. Otherwise there will be a risk of structural failure. Types of rehabilitation. Constructional and technical. Construction and technical equipment that refer to improving energy consumption and reducing the operating costs and maintenance ones. Architectural. Functional and aesthetic improvements so that the final result is the increasing of the quality of housing. Public facilities overall. Improving facilities, equipment, housing, and complementary facilities and increasing the availability of housing facilities and improvement of their qualities. Social life. Improving the conditions of social and community life, conflicts reduction, and improvement of the decision making by the community. Materials used for rehabilitation. 1. Unmodified Portland cement mortar or grout. 2. Latex modified Portland cement mortar or concrete. 3. Quick setting non shrink mortar. 4. Polymer concrete. 5. Epoxy mortar or concrete. 6. Methyl methacrylate concrete. And many more products are available in market that can be used for rehabilitation. Process of rehabilitation. Step 1. Investigate the causes and identify the problems and understand. Step 2. Use NDT methods to understand damages and defects. Step 3. Consider structural and operational requirements to select the rehabilitation method. Step 4. Selection of right repair materials with appropriate methodology. Now let's discuss about the methods of rehabilitation. First method is jacketing. Jacketing is done for deteriorated columns, piles, beams, slabs etc. Another method is shot creating or gunneting. Concrete mix of very high workability is fired with compressed air. It is most suitable where water should not penetrate, like water tanks. Other methods are, prep act concrete, bonding with injection of epoxies under pressure, rooting and sealing, stitching by iron or steel dogs on sides, external press dressing by wires or rods, grouting, overlays on defected structure etc. Concluding remarks. It is evident from the above discussion that whenever a structure is constructed, it is subjected to deterioration. Hence, it is important to recognize the problems lies in the structure and give an appropriate treatment that would give a long-term durability to the structure. I hope you enjoyed our presentation. If you really liked our video, do like and share the video with your friends. If you have any confusion or suggestion about this presentation, 
let us know through the comment box below or through our blog. See the description for the links. Thanks for watching the video.